Roots here. Today I will be showing you guys how to use Blender and make animations. So first, you need to open your file. I'm going to be doing this on a Black Knight file. If you want to make animations on Blender, especially Fortnite, you do not have to uh, do like every single move. You just choose one place and another. And so then it will make the movement from there and back. So if you want to do animation, you could do everything you normally do. You first, very important, need to add a camera in the position that you want it to be recording the animation from. So I'm just going to do it simply and just put it right in front of the face. like that. Then after that you do your normal stuff. You can do lighting, HDRI, and more. So I'm gonna do the lighting and I'll be right back. So I am back. I did not do my lighting like normal because you need to render an EV otherwise this will take so much longer and it won't even be good. So I have my HDRI and everything. Just do your normal stuff. After that, you want to go to animation. Animation over here is where you need to choose your keys and all that stuff. So to start off with, now that we have all that, I'm just going to turn off the lights and put back on the camera. So to do this, you need two keyframes. First, let's start off with the basics. You select your character, and then you press I. From there, you either choose location, rotation, scaling, all that stuff. Let's just start with location, just to show. So, I have his location. Then that's where he starts. Let's choose where he ends. I'm going to make him end at 19, I guess. Let me just bring out that. And you go over there, move them to positions. Blender would automatically move them for you, so they'll do everything in between. After you move them to your location, you press I when you're down here in this section and click all channels. As you can see, now when I go back here, he's going to be moving. Let me just go inside the camera and play it. I don't really want that because I'm not going to be working on that. Then if you want to delete it, just click delete keyframes. Which I do not know how to do, it turns out. So I'll just do command Z, command Z. So, to move the bones in an animation or anything else, you want to go to pose mode. You click on the specific bone you want to move. It's annoying because you need to do it one at a time. You click on the bone, click I, whole character selected bones only. And then after that, you move to your time frame again to where you want it to be. I'm just going to put it on 40. And then you bring up the arm to the position you want it to be. So I actually messed up because these bones are annoying and not normal. Which one will be moving the body? That one. So click I, whole bar body, select the bones. Then you could jack it back if you put it on the wrong spot. So I'm going to drag it back to zero. And you move it to the position you want it to be when it ends. So I'm going to do it around over here. 
Then you go back here, press I, all channels. As you can see now, when I go to camera mode, you can also see it over here. When I click play, his arm will go up. If that's too slow, you just move it back and it'll do it faster next time. Then I'm just going to make this guy waving. So after that, I'm going to make it so I'm going to click which button moves his hand. Then you keep on doing that until you're done. I'm going to be back when I'm completely done and I'm going to be rendering this. So I have finished my animation. If you want to see it, it is just a regular one. Did not spend much time on it. Let me just put it back to object mode, turn off the bones, and play it. Just a uh, normal one, just some waving. So, if you want to add a background and all, and you don't really know how to edit you can always go to edit over here preferences search up image then you click on this you click install it's so you can add an image take it from there then you click shift a image image as planes then over there you can choose your image or whatever. Normally I just name my things random stuff so don't bother about these. Where is it? There it is. Then it will come up as an image. You can do whatever. You can make it whatever. Stretch it out. I'm just gonna make it so it stays in the frame and does nothing. You can animate animate this image by just making it do what you want like rotate and all that stuff it's gonna rotate this So after that, you want to make it the exact time your animation ends so it doesn't have even more to render. So you go to, uh, you click over here right under the TV looking thing. And then you click, you have the frame start where it starts, where it ends. Then you want to move it exactly to where it ends. Not exactly, put it a little bit ahead. You make sure I don't have more. So let's end it around 170, maybe 180. So after that, you go back to here. You want to make sure you render on EV. Put it how high your PC can handle or whatever. I'm on a Mac, so not that good. You go over here. Then you need to choose where the video saves. So I'm going to do desktop, animation. Render exam example then accept. After that you choose what you want it to be, your file format. I'm gonna choose uh JPEG. 
RGB colors encoding. You put your quality and all that stuff. And after that, you go to render. You could view your render and all that stuff, normal stuff. You don't render the image, otherwise that will just render the end. You'll see in a few seconds. Okay, so I guess it didn't load. So you want to click render, render animation, and it will start to render it. I will be back when this whole thing renders.